All right, welcome to your Leaflet.js course. Um, I'm Victor Temprano. I'm going to be walking you through for the next, whatever, like five hours worth of courses. It's probably more than you need to know ever in your life about mapping in Leaflet.js unless you're trying to become a map developer, which is what I do. I hope that I'll be able to teach you a lot and that you'll learn many things, um, whether you're tackling just a specific project or just wanting to know more about how mapping works. Uh, if you're a GIS professional um, coming in to just try to learn about some front-end mapping, this course is going to be useful, or if you're a front-end developer and trying to get into mapping, it's also going to be good. There's a lot of crossover available. Now, because of that, there is going to be some parts that uh, most that any user is going to find uh, a little redundant. If you're strong in code, at times I take uh, it slow over the code to make sure everyone understands. If you're good in uh, GIS data, you're going to be bored with a lot of the data sections where I talk about, you know, just different types of data formats. So bear that in mind and feel free to jump over the episodes that you don't need, of course. So let's head more into the introduction and talk about the course. So there's me, I'm Victor. I actually have just started up a company this year called Mapster, and it's all about interactive mapping online. Uh, I have a few maps that have gone viral, um, uh, some major projects, I believe I mentioned them um, in this course, and we'll talk about them a little bit and just what they've taught me. Um, <clears throat> I am indeed a full-time nerd. Um, I do lots of front-end development, not just in mapping, but pretty much everything JavaScript. I'm just a total JavaScript guy, and I've been doing this for, yeah, ever since I got out of university, and because, you know, a, an arts degree doesn't really make you a lot of money, but coding does. Anyway, we're in this course, um, that's enough of me. <laughs> in this course, we'll be uh, going over a few different sections. So here at the very beginning, we're just doing general stuff. We're barely even getting into the code, just talking about data and what is mapping online, just approaching this as though you have no idea uh, what, what we're talking about or why you even chose Leaflet. Um, you know, you may, you may know more uh, already than I'm going to talk about in those first few episodes, but there may be a couple little morsels of wisdom that'll be handy. So we're just going to go over the map basics, which is just all your standard, just how do you zoom, how do you center, how do you add markers, polygons, really the most central stuff, how do you style them, make them look good. Um, nothing that's really complex functionality, but all the basics you need to know. From there, we'll move into talking about like interfaces around maps and how you make maps interact uh, efficiently and effectively with the different things that are going on uh, in and around it. Uh, this can be handy and can be quite a hard thing for people to understand at first because you have maybe a div element off of the map that you want, like a button, that you want to do something on the map. And it's not immediately apparent at first how to connect those. So we'll be going over that and doing a bunch of examples of different filters. Um, then we get into the advanced section, which is just a huge collection of different topics, um, ranging from heat maps to big data to geolocation. Uh, just stuff that I figured might be um, common uses or useful for you to know a little bit more about. I don't go into extreme detail in any of them, but I do do a short example or just a little bit of... Um, code and discussion about it in each of those. Now throughout this, there are projects, that's why I have a project down here, it's number four, it's actually not a fourth section. I contemplated doing that, but I think we do so much different mapping throughout that you don't really need um, a separate project. You probably have your own that you can tackle. But throughout, um, and especially in the later sections, um, some of the reviews, uh, the review assignments are going to involve you kind of being a little creative because uh, I'm going to show you a lot of different tools and a lot of different possible places to get data. And I'm going to want you to play around a little bit with it. It's the only way to really get to know it. Um, so I don't want to try to give you an example uh, or give you a project to make you get exactly from point A to point B when it might be better for you to use some of your own data. Um, so in total in this course, we're going to have videos. You'll also find a couple quizzes and some review notes in the course folders. Um, and yeah, then some review assignments, some of which will have code solutions and some of which will be open-ended. So a couple more things about this course, just in terms of requirements. So I am expecting you to come at this course with a little bit of JavaScript knowledge. Um, I'm not counting on you to be a master, but you should understand what objects are, looping. You should be comfortable having written maybe a small demo application in JavaScript at least. 
Um, I'll try to be slow about going over my JavaScript, but I also have to know that people are coming at this from many different um, skill levels. And that goes the same for GIS, as I mentioned before. I am going to come at this um, assuming users don't know much. It's probably more often that someone will come to this course not knowing about geographic data. So I'm going to try to walk you through all that. So basically, I do assume some coding knowledge, but I don't assume a lot of geographic knowledge. So with that, let's get the course started. See you in the next video.